Hi, I'm Sai Chowdhury, Product Management for Qualcomm, and what we're showing here is one of our test mobiles. Uh, it's running uh, one of our 7K uh, pieces of silicon, and what we work with Google is to optimize Android on our actual silicon itself, and that includes a variety of different things. So you can see that Android includes, of course, a full web browser, and it's uh, it's coming up, we're just bringing up the CNN web page, and what you're seeing here is that this is actually working over the wi live wireless network. So Is that, is that the EVDO? This is a HSDPA network, okay. so this is actually using a full HSDPA network, and we don't have specifically here in our test mobile, we haven't implemented the zoom or zoom out features, but what you're seeing here is the pan and uh, and shift capability of, oh, can you do the pan and the shift again real quick? Okay. of the uh, Android platform. Let's um, move out of the browser, and okay. I can uh, also show you... Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. if you don't mind. Okay. Let's move out of the browser, I could also show you a couple of other uh, interesting applications. Similarly, just like we've enabled uh, with the browser to be use, use the high-speed data connectivity, here's uh, Google Maps coming up, again running on our, our test mobile. And you can see it's actually, as I'm, I'm panning to the right, it's bringing up new map tiles. Um, this is, we're looking at Bhutan here, of all things, and uh, and you can't zoom in yet, right? Uh, right, zoom correct. Because we we don't have uh, right now on the on the test mobile, we don't have the zoom and gotcha. and unzoom capabilities built into the touch screen functionality. This phone is mainly. It's proof of. This is actually uh, used or? used by our customers to help uh, validate their own design and start start to get te um, start to get uh, involved in how to use Android and really also start to do some radio radio development and testing. Gotcha. Are there any other applications that you can show us? Sure, we can show you a couple of other applications here. There's uh, one of the things that we've worked with uh, Google very closely is to accelerate the hardware 3D mm -hmm. capabilities of Android. So we have a 3D hardware uh, capability. Uh, acceleration unit built into our chipsets and you can see here this is Quake running on top of Android running on our silicon but accelerated for 3D hardware capabilities so very rich uh, whether it's games or user interfaces can come into uh, come into being or may be made by the Android application community or using the Android application platform as well as the 3D hardware acceleration of Qualcomm. Okay so this is the base home screen of the Android application platform and you can see running on our test mobile it brings up all the different applications and for example we can go up to the browser and remember uh, unlike many of the other demos that you see here this is actually working over the live HSTPA network so uh, I can bring up the New York Times we were going to CNN earlier but we'll bring up the New York Times and you can see that using the high-speed data connectivity of HSDPA downlink and HSUPA uplink you can see the very quick data speeds to bring up full web browsing capabilities so we're going through and uh, we can zoom and pan. You can see that's the New York Times there. So, uh, Global Time, which is another very rich user, applica uh, user interface uh, app experience type application. Clearly this could be used for more than a, a time perspective, but you can see that Android actually brings in some very rich user interface capabilities, and by gluing that down to our Qualcomm Silicon, we're able to accelerate it and really make it such that it's, um, it's, it's working seamlessly. A calendar app, and you can see we can go through the calendar, but we're, again, it's not, it's very, uh, it's unpopulated because we haven't actually integrated anything. What about contacts? Uh, we don't have anything okay. on contacts, I don't think. Anything that's more static, we didn't put a, a lot media? of focus into. I see in there music. No, uh, right now there is a uh, a placeholder for media, but uh, what we're we're already we're right now working with uh, Google to expose the multimedia capabilities of our silicon with Android, and so that's work work in progress. Gotcha. The fact that Android actually has a very uh, open and very easy user capability, user-driven uh, application capability is uh, shown by this game, Whack-A-Mole, which I'm not doing very well at here, as you can see. But what it can do, uh, this is a very simple application written by one of the uh, application developers at Google that shows how you can, even a garage shop developer can write very simple applications uh, for Android.